and welcome to the Gear Vault, our regular online video equipment reviews. This time we're taking a look at some of the latest drivers to hit the market. We're at the London Club in Kent. In this particular one we're looking at Nike's new square model, the Dymo SQ, which I'm going to be hitting now with my colleagues Paul O'Hagan and Mike Harris. Nike's new square driver, the Dymo SQ, looks at a number of different factors that affect driver performance and then tries to optimise them for each model in the range. Those factors include head size, the actual geometry of the club, what shape it is, the centre of gravity, the loft and lie angles and the spin ratios. The Dymo SQ also features a new wider shaft from UST and the idea is that it gives the club greater stability through the swing and impact helping to keep shots straighter. I definitely think Nike have stepped up their game both in the irons market and this time the driver market. This was one of the best performers I tried out today. This was certainly the longest club on test found today. Uh, really high uh, ball flight, kept on going, seemed to have a lot of hang time and I really enjoyed hitting this. In terms of ball flight this was extremely straight driver. For those who suffer with a bad slice, it's really hard to hit right. And I feel you could get a really good penetrating ball flight if you find the right setup for you. I've always uh, struggled visually with the look of square drivers, but I think Nike uh, in the new SQ Dymo have, have got it pretty much spot on now. And if I was to pick up one criticism, again with all square drivers, it's quite difficult to manoeuvre the ball in any shape, but let's be honest, for most of us, if you can hit the ball straight, then it's a pretty good driver. The shared view of the Golf Monthly team is that the Nike SQ Dymo is the best performing Nike square driver to date. But for now, for this week, it's goodbye from the Golf Monthly team.